We start our adventure today at the gas station, filling up the car a little bit, and I got something important to talk about, so stay tuned. So I wanted to talk to you guys about something real quick. If you guys saw a couple videos of mine back, it's been like a couple weeks now, I think. Um, I was kind of showing off the Jeep, I was messing with it, I was doing some stuff, and I was talking about giving some prayers for my grandmother who was in hospice, not doing too well. Um, so if you saw that video, shout out to you for leaving, you know, good prayers and everything. Um, well, she ended up passing away this morning, uh, about five something this morning. I got a text message before work, which was great motivation to go to work, uh, that she had passed away. So definitely rest in peace to her. Loved her a lot. Uh, thanks to everybody that, you know, sent some good wishes out and everything. And, you know, I believe basically it seems like she passed in her sleep. I'm guessing is what happened. Um, not really any suffering more than having cancer you know stuff like that so i don't think it was really bad um i don't really think it's 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 hit me yet like i'm not breaking down i didn't really break break down my grandfather passed either um you know this is life and this is stuff that you deal with in life it's just kind of crappy um you know so thanks to everybody who gave you know some prayers out there that she went peacefully whatever kind of deal um but on a better note, we're going to hit a bunch of stores and stuff on the way home. Um, I got too much stress, man. So maybe we'll find something nice. If not, I don't really care. So thank you guys for rocking with me. Like I said, sending some prayers and stuff. So it's kind of a weird day today. So maybe it'll turn around. I don't know. All right. So what's up, guys? We're actually at a Target at the moment. My local one on Arlington Road. And wham! my third monster jam chase you can see right there it says true heavy metal it's got the headers and the uh, tire lettering that's what's up so i think that's pretty cool i'm glad that that was here a little something for me oh and check out what i'm finally seeing that's what's up i actually have not seen these yet um the only one i care about is that one i'm sure it's going to be the one that's missing we have the new haulers wow okay so something new for a change that's pretty cool uh i'd only be interested in that rebel machine i do like the 917 lh probably my favorite porsche out there uh, and we do have the mustang set here as well these are super tempting but i really don't need them uh, i'm just gonna crack them open anyway the skyline one i probably should cop because i can probably trade it so i just might pick these up um to trade them or something i don't know I'm not gonna be a scalping idiot um we'll set those there for right now there's a lot of people in here so it's like super super loud but it looks like we got nothing over there we're gonna take a look around and see what we can find um but that is really cool it looks like we got some premiums but not too much yeah those are 11.99 for these and it's gonna be four for that uh monster truck so let's see what else we can find laying around here all right, so we, we found something pretty cool. The Kings of Crunch trucks, which I collect pretty heavily, are actually on sale for $3.49 a piece, which is significantly different than $7. Um, so I'm buying the three that are here. I thought about even picking up that duplicate. Uh, I'm not too sure just yet. I'm still trying to like watch the money for the most part. Um, I'm looking around for stuff that's on sale at the moment just to kind of see if I can find some trade bait or something. Um, but yeah, we're just going to keep peeking around. I hit up some people to see if anybody be interested in one of these two packs. I know those are like super desirable and I kind of don't want to leave it down there, but I don't want to be a scalper at the same time and just like hold on to it. Um, but yeah, I'd like to pick that up and send it along to somebody for a trade or who knows. So it's not like I'm lacking the money. It's just, uh, I'd like to hold on to it. I don't like to spend it all right when I first get it. You know what I mean? So we will pull this down just for right now. Um, this one kind of has a little, little crease in the card right there. You can kind of see. So um but we're already looking at a good amount i mean that's 11.99 times three plus four dollars plus 3.49 times three so <laughs> i really don't want to spend that much money um but if i can help out some homies then it'll be worth it so all right guys we're gonna go do something i know it kind of like this video was weird man there wasn't much to it i know my little rant at the beginning um you know, it sucks my grandma passed away. Uh, this, this, this happens in life, you know? Like, it, it's just something that happens. But I happened to be over in the neighborhood where her and my grandfather lived. Um, so I'm going to go by the house, I think. I'm going to go by the house and 
maybe show it to you guys. If not, then I'll just kind of give my my feelings. I appreciate if you guys are like sitting here watching me talk about this right now. This is more of kind of like a venting thing because like it sounds messed up, dude, but like I don't feel anything right now. Like I don't feel sad. I just feel like even more out of place in the world, man. Because like when we're kids, like everything's a good time. We always feel good. We don't ever worry about anything because everything's fine. And then you get older and you realize like someone's burning it out behind me or something. I don't know what that was. Um, but then you realize like everything sucks, man. Like the good times you felt as a kid, like you now have to plan for those moments. You now have to spend money for those things. And like the people you loved end up falling out of your life. Oh, it was a Chrysler 300 flying down the road. But anyway, I'm talking. Thanks, guy. Um, I'm going to speed limit. I'm kind of all over the place. So I'm sorry, guys. If you're watching this, I appreciate it. I know my peg hunting videos are usually, hey, I'm looking at cars. Here's what I found. Hey, that's what's up. Today, it's a mixture of both. I found some cool stuff, but... You know, I got some stuff on my mind, man. And I want your guys' you know, feedback as well. Like, you know, do you feel the same? Like, life is stupid, man. Like, I'm not trying to sound depressing because I'm not depressed. But, dude, like, man, is it weird. Like, you never know when you could just, like, be gone, you know? Like, it doesn't matter about health or anything. Like, I get hit right now filming this, driving down the street. I could get hit by a car and die you know, like, and that's not something to live in fear about, is, oh man, I could die at any time, because I'm not scared of death, I'm not, whatsoever, I've had a lot of fun in my life, and if I died right, as I hit a bump, if I die right this second, I don't really care, man, but it just sucks, because like, the more you go through life, the more people that you lose, you know, whether it be friends or family or family friends or whoever, like, older people you look up to, like, random things like that, like, it just seems like happiness is hard to come by sometimes, you know? And that's why, like, we collect the die cast. Because, like, we find something cool and we go, oh, man, I remember these just whenever I was a kid or, oh, man, I really like this car in real life or this truck or whatever it is in real life, so I'm going to buy it. You know, like, we make friends through this community and everything, but, like, I'm going on a big rant right now, and I'm, I'm really happy if you're still here listening to me, because I know it's all over the place, and it's probably a lot to take in, because, like, I'm just kind of talking randomly, but my grandmother passed away, my grandfather passed away in 2020, and I don't have a good relationship with my mother, I don't have too good a relationship with my dad, uh, it's always kind of been like that, you know, I love my whole family, but, like, I don't have the best of connection with any of them, I mean, certain ones, of course, you know, we're a little bit better than the other ones, but, dude, it just feels so strange, because, like, you just lose people, man, and I ain't got many friends as it is, I don't, you know, like, there's just several people, maybe, that I, you know, go hang out with, like, I can count them on one hand, you know, there's not many people that I get a call from, hey, man, you want to hang out? And the people that I do hang out with, you know who you guys are. And, like, I don't know, dude. It's just really weird. Like, life is strange. I know I've said this a couple times now. I'm kind of repeating myself. But this gives me a weird vibe. Like, I don't feel heartbroken. Like, oh, my gosh, my, my grandmother passed away. What am I going to do? I just feel like, man, like life is weird, dude, and you never know what's gonna happen, but I'm right down the road, I'm gonna go sit outside of our house for a little bit, I think, and just think, or something, maybe I'll show the house, I don't know, thanks, guys, all right, guys, so, here's the house where my grandparents lived my whole life, every light's on in the house, I'm assuming my family's just kind of doing that to keep people away, it feels really strange because I haven't even really been here in well over a year. Um, it, it's really weird to see all the lights on. I think it seems like they're still there. You know, the neighbors live right here to my left that I'm not going to show their house out of respect. They've always been super duper nice. 
Um, but I just wanted to come by and see it probably for the last time before uh, someone else moves in. I hope they take good care of it. These uh, little trees, you see they're cherry trees. They were always really bitter though. And there used to be a little plum tree in the front yard there. A lot of memories of this house. It feels really weird. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna sit for a second and get out of here, so appreciate what you have. Call your loved ones and tell them you love them. You guys have a great one and I appreciate you watching. Thank you.